when you when you move like that you become an establisher when you become an establisher God will initiate power blessings and as you commit yourself to establishing the kingdom of heaven on earth and reaching not just telling people about Jesus and going about your business, but establishing and regulating the power and authority of God, then the crown of the Most High will come upon you in mighty ways. And when it's no longer just about the reward system, which is a great effect and benefit of serving God, but when it becomes the sole thirst, the sole desire, the sole purpose, Of your life well then you will tap into this immersive realm with your Heavenly Father and this is a realm that steps out of being bound by circumstances wanting more money because you feel that you don't have enough and you're always feeling you can do more for God with more and more and more which is okay and there's a truth to that but in the reality of the whole, let me take a left. In the reality of the whole, you have been given everything. And to sit back and experience identity, not what you have and what you don't have and what you want and how successful you wanna be, but when you learn how to sit back in the luxury of your identity, then you will begin to know what it feels like to reign as a king in the palace of what you become in Christ and then as you learn how to translate weird emotions and weird feelings because the intentions of your mind will tell you what if he doesn't want to receive Jesus what if I talk about God and they get upset and because you slightly worry about that it will enter your emotional realm but as you learn the progression and the hand and the reach of your power and to loudly proclaim the gospel of Jesus then you will begin to break the strands that other, other Christians and other human beings suffer from. Because there is always a strand of hesitation. And it is a fuel of what if they don't receive? Or what if I want to do this and this don't? But when you learn to translate beyond that, and you learn how to stay moving forward, because many times we'll feel something happen and we'll focus on that and backtrack from the throne of God. But as you learn like Samson, who was so driven in movement, in the strength of God, and what he was given. He knew what he had. He knew that he was the strength, that he knew that he could destroy them. He knew that he could destroy him. He knew that he could rip through. And so he knew that. He knew he couldn't be stopped in the strength of God. So he was so driven in that reality. And as you're driven in your speech, in your tongue, in the voice of God, in the, stop, in the drive, an ignition of Christ. I got two fish sandwiches in my car. I don't even want to eat them, but I got to. All right, well, I'm gonna put these in here. And yeah, that was smart of that brother. Now, all right, let's keep going. The reason why God, I keep seeing people's faces. In these faces, there is an impartation that I have for them in the spirit. Not just praying. There, I have the rod of discipline. I was lifting up a soul. God gave me an impartation and he gave me a rod to discipline this spirit. And I tried, I went to lift this person up to God's throne. And he says, don't lift them up to my throne. Discipline them. That will be their breakthrough. Discipline them. Right? And I keep seeing these people's faces. Because as you transform spiritually, as you transform in the things of God, the things you are gonna be able to move in and out of, the power you're gonna be able to adapt to, the behavior and the model of God himself, Yahweh, that manifest in your life and just the roots that you're gonna have and the depths of the word of God that you're gonna carry, it, 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 it's gonna be a continual outpouring of, of God. And see, God will catch your words. 
when you have a pure intention just to speak his word, just to speak his knowledge, you just start talking and he'll catch and fashion and form your words. And so you begin to speak in the fashion and design of the master. You begin to speak in an artistic way in the hand of the painter to display the will and heart of God. You begin to speak in an apartment complex mentality of establishing souls and right. Device is too hot. Video quality may be affected. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. And so, now, okay. I know where I'm gonna go. See, I'm parking in new spots because I'm taking over more vicinities for King Jesus. And as I stay there, not just waiting, but I stay there producing, speaking the things of God, a mantle comes down, a weight comes down, a position comes down, a realm comes, I'm starting to see, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, who is this? Hey brother, how you doing? I was wondering, are, are you hungry? What do you got? I got McDonald's, brother. I just bought McDonald's. I just, I'm sorry. I'm talking. I love Jesus, bro. I I just talked about. I wasn't here talking about God, but uh, I got McDonald's. Uh, two two fish sandwiches. They're fresh. Yeah, give me just give me one of those. Okay. That'd be great. Oh, just you don't want both? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have these two. This is oh, some cash. I just okay. I don't know. Thank uh, you. Oh, thank you. Hey, brother. I bless What's you. What's your name? My name's Matthew. What's your name? Harvey. 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 Harvey? Well, yeah. Yeah. Harvey, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. You go to church? I, well, I, I, I talk about Jesus all the day. We are the church, but uh, I, 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 I'm trying to look for a physical church right now, and I'm just trying to be obedient to the voice of God and His yeah. will. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I love Jesus. You sound like you might start a church. <laughs> a small church. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, hey, I, I, yeah. Hey, watch out! You, you find somebody else that started a church. That'll be your, your, your personality. You're not, you're not gonna try to take over my church, are you? Yeah, yeah. I, I seen a guy. Uh -uh. He was, oh, he was Oki Cowboy all the way. I guess I'm yeah. pretty sure this is back in '83 in uh -huh. Baker, downtown Bakersfield, California. Yeah. Uh, I never did go cruising by where his church was. It was I don't know, 10 or 20 blocks uh -huh. away. He, he was interesting. Talk. He's a little guy. Yeah. He, he was gonna whip the devil. Uh -huh. He saw the the devil. Walk up, he was going to attack the devil with his cowboy boots and his yeah. fists. And yeah. all this. And oh my he gosh, was, yeah. He, he was, he was, he was either from Texas or he was, he was a Bakersfield Oakey yeah. from the cradle, yeah. something like that. You see, how old was he? He was about 50. He might have rode out there during the mid 30s. 